Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I have a few things to like show and tell and then um, we'll go through something. Um, my friend Samantha sent me a few little things. First of all, she made she made this, um, you know, the bee, honeycomb, however you want to say that. So I asked her to make a bee and so she made me a bee. And I added some little slits to it, Samantha. I hope that's okay. I just wanted a little more... Um, you know, definition on those. And I made something for you and sent it to you that has this in it. So you'll get to see what it looks like. Um, she made me this little girl. She's so cute. With, I like this. <laughs> it's adorable. And she sent me some of those really awesome Tim Holtz, um, you know, they're like the fairy wings. I got to get some. I just have not had time to go shop and find those things. Um, I guess I could get them on Amazon. And a little bird and a little secret garden like you know clip out from their paper and then she sent these which she put one on here that looks like it's been coffee dyed or ink stained or something and then made one of these tags using the um straw paper from italy so she got some of that too and these little itty bitty um paper clips with just a little bit of lace on them and that's a super cute idea they just look adorable up on there like that so really cool stuff and I'm going to do something with this today but I also wanted to show you I made a Father's Day card and I used some things that she sent me last time. So I do use stuff when people send it, it just might not be right away. It's just um, when it comes to mind there's something that I need then you know I'll use what I have. Um, but she sent me this little tea card and this truck um, tag with like the lines on it to journal on but I just kind of turned it into a a collage on the front of this card so there's an old ticket some straw paper burlap this is just like off of clothes or something you know the barcode I just inked it up and tore it and stuff and this is old uh, magazine and then I just did one of my um, seals wax seals but it's not wax it's the hot glue like I showed you guys and then this is some of the paper from um, my Diorio kit so yeah I thought that was kind of a fun thing for Father's Day. It looks masculine, but I don't always have tons of that kind of stuff. I don't know about you guys, but I don't see a lot of it, or maybe it's just that's generally not always what I'm looking for. Maybe that's what the issue is. So I made this little flip thing, and so there's a pocket here, and then a pocket up here. I, I just, oops, I made it last night, and I wasn't feeling like turning on the camera and chatting, <laughs> so I, um, just kind of made it and then I was going to go through how I did it. So there's no pockets here but this is one big pocket and the pocket on the front and then there's a pocket here and this is made from one of the pockets in my kit. I just cut the sides off and then um, this is half of an envelope, one of those long envelopes. There's a pocket here and then I also made this a tuck spot on the side. So I thought we could make some you know little things to stick in there. I mean I did do that card but um, I was also going to show you how I did this because I used, I'm back to using my um, sewing pattern instructions and I know this is my ugly crazy board but I like it for glue. So what you're going to want to do, and this one got wrinkled but I think once it's glued it'll be fine, is open up your sewing pattern instructions. These are not, not the pattern paper, they're the instructions that come inside of the sewing patterns. And this one was just for curtains but we're going to like cover everything or something like that some balances or something but um, we're going to cover all of it up so it doesn't matter anyway so I'm just taking glue and I've done other um, videos about sewing pattern um, instructions as well like little booklets that are like folded up and have pockets you know just like little pockets and I don't know so they are in my list of videos and I'll probably I'll, if I remember I will link them the old brain doesn't always remember these things so and I'm sorry if you can't see I'm just putting glue stick on um, like the whole half of it so that it can glue together because it's too thin with just one layer but two layers seems to be really nice so and this is the tricky part because obviously if you get it all crooked, <laughs> good luck peeling it apart because it's usually once it's stuck, it's stuck. So I kind of just do 
a little bit at a time instead of trying to like flop it all down on top of each other. And then I usually do take the bone folder and go over all of it just because I want to make sure if possible that there's not a whole bunch of bubbles. I mean, like I said, we're going to cover it, but you know, I just don't want to start with a bumpy surface if possible. You might get a few, but it's not that big of a deal. See, like there's some wrinkles there, but just try to smooth it out as best you can. And if you had a really cool old one, it would look neat. I did do one that I didn't cover it all up because it, the color of it was really cool. But this one's not very exciting, so I don't mind covering it. Now the tricky part for me is remembering how I folded this because it does matter. So let me look at this for a second. Have, no, this one has to go this way. So you're just going to have it flat. Fold the first panel in like this. And we're going to, um, you know, make a corner tuck kind of thing. So just like book page. And I know, like, um, Rachel at Roxy Creations has done this. Um, Patricia Veramontes, I mean, she's the queen of the book page thing. So she's done lots of stuff. She may have even done something like this. I don't know. But... Um, so I fold that down. I am going to put some glue on it. I didn't want the fl the flippy part on the outside for this one, but you can if you want it like that. Just fold it the other direction. I just personally wanted it inside this time, but you don't want it getting caught on whatever tag or anything that you put in there, so I would definitely just glue it down. That way you don't have to worry about any of that. So then this one is going to fold like this, and um, after I cover it, I'm going to glue just along here and there, and it'll glue down, and then you're going to have that pocket. Then this one folds this direction, like back behind, so you fold that whole flap behind. Then you have these two pages that open and close like this. So I hope this is making sense. I'll show you again. I just want to get a good fold on that. All right, so this is your front. This one is going to be glued to this so that you have the pocket right here, okay? And then when you open it, these will be two pages, and then you'll have a page on the back. And then these, what I did is I just did a bead of glue here and along there. Actually, I stitched it. And then it gives you the pocket on top as well. So this whole flap becomes a pocket here and a pocket up here. You just have to glue these together and then the book. So that's what I did. I covered inside um, and I pretty much covered everything before I stitched it so that, you know, obviously you get the stitching, you get to see the stitching instead of have it, you know, under a bunch of paper and stuff. So for this pocket, all I did is take half of an envelope let me see if I can find one of my envelopes. Sorry, I should have had that one out, but I, I didn't. So. so I just took one of these and I cut it at, let's see how high this is. I mean, you can cut it however high you want it, though. You don't need to do it exactly this way. This is just a reference. Can't see my ruler, sorry. Four inches. So I cut four, so it's not quite half, but it's pretty close to half of the envelope. And then... Um, so you have like, you know, that much. And then you seal the flap back there and this top part will be opened to make the pocket. And I just did a little, you know, snip with a circle cutter. And this already had, this is from my Diorio kit, this pocket. And so um, I just cut the sides off so that it would be the same. And this way it's four as well. So it's four by four piece. And then I just glued it right onto this with a, this is open and then it's got a side opening instead of a back I glued the along this side this side and this side so now I have a side opening okay so I think that's everything on that so I thought we could make some tags to go with that and if you have questions on how to fold that um, I can go over it again but um, you're just taking the first flap folding the corner down closing it putting glue or stitching but if you don't want to stitch just glue glue 
Okay, and then this flap opens this way. Put glue here and glue along there and close it. That way you'll have a pocket at the top. And then this is just your open booklet and this is where I glued the 4x4 piece of envelope. All right, so let's make, I want to make a big tag for this uh, pocket right here. I like this bird, um, and I put some of my old paper on the back. And this bird is just one that I found on, I don't even remember, it was in my stuff. I want to say Biodiversity Heritage Library, but I don't think it was that. It might have been Pinterest, I don't know, I can't remember. But anyway. You can use anything. You could even use something else from the kit. And then these little cards, I might put one. I want something a little bit shorter just because I like to see um, the bird. Oh, I did make these. That's what that was going to do. Let's do these tags real quick. These are just strips from my uh, paper. This is the old paper kit. This is the Diorio. I just cut two inch strips and then put it in my Stampin' Up! punch that makes that little thing but you can use you know you can just cut strips of paper and cut the corners off or make tags however you like to make tags that's just how I like to do it so yeah I'm trying to get some stuff done for my shop it's been crazy busy ever since we got out of school and I just haven't had a chance to do any of that kind of thing so I was like I need to get restocked Some of these old papers had like little specks on them and they show up when you scan them. So they're there permanently. We're just going to use some glue stick and put on a piece of napkin. This is just napkin that I had with a print on it and you can use whatever, whatever you have. I'm just going to put some glue on the tag itself. It just doesn't tear like the napkin does. So. A little bit more. All right, and then I'm going to take a little bit, or a little bit, take my scissors and just snip off the extra that's there. This iris. And again, this is just one that I found on Biodiversity Heritage Library. But you could use any, um, you know, botanical stickers or whatever. stuff everywhere again. That's what happens when I start doing projects. I had it all cleaned up when school got out. Ah, just keep bending that huh? neck of that iris. And I noticed when I was doing um, this last night, it actually went together fairly quickly because um, those collage papers, which you can get collage papers other places too, you don't have to use mine, but they work really well, um, you don't have to do a lot, like I don't really think that needs anything else and you can still write all over that. So that was the nice part of that. I'm just going to snip off that little piece because I don't feel like it's a big deal if we lose that. There's one tag, and I got a little glue up there, so I'm going to uh, not be able to find my eraser, like usual. I'm just going to very lightly do some swirlies, because if you do it too hard, you'll take up all the... And I did have one of my subscribers tell me to use a wet one, which works great. I love using those, but sometimes when it's the... Um, digital kits it the color bleeds so I don't know maybe there's a trick to that too but 
going to use some cheesecloth under this mushroom, but I want to ink it a little. It's so nice out today. The birds are all singing. It's supposed to cool off a little bit and rain, though, so I'm not... I mean, I, I always like rain. It just seems like we've had a lot lately. And again, I got this from Biodiversity Heritage Library, this mushroom. But there is a, there's a bigger mushroom like this in my, um, the add-on to the Posy kit. So if you have that, you can, um, you know, make it smaller or whatever. And you, you could use that. So I'm going to kind of turn this this way. And I'm going to use a little wet glue just to get this stuck down, just like in the middle. Put a little bit of this over here. I just trust that the wet glue is going to stay there better. And the mushroom can go about there, so I'm going to cover that in glue. But yeah, we have all the windows open, which I love. That's like my favorite when it's the right temperature for that. <clears throat> Turn that over and snip some of this off. I'm going to let that piece just kind of hang over there. I like that. But I am going to tack it down a little better because it is going to go in and out of that pocket right there. This one I'm going to let dry before I put it in the pocket because um, that gauze, you know, it just is going to go right through there. So, all right. that and then I need to cut a piece big enough to go in there and so let's see I think I want to go ahead and use this stuff again I need to put the lid on my glue and the other glue for a minute I just have to decide which one of these I want to use I'm really liking the colors and how this one came out I kind of want to use this peach so, I'm going to put this one aside for a second. Like I said, I'm going to move this. I need to measure this. Where did my other ruler go? Oh my goodness, I set it over here and then I can't find it because I put a bunch of paper on it. Let's go four and a half by um, just about seven. And I'm going to do straight sides on this. I'm sorry if my cutter is a little out of the shot. Come down a little bit, a little bit smaller, just so it goes in and out easier. Yeah, I just I'm really liking the colors in this Oreo kit. It came out nice. That's what, like I told you guys the other day, if you watched my video, that's that's what it was all about. Um, with this kit, really was color, the colors that I wanted. Oh, it needs to cut down a lot more. Not necessarily about the topic, because I kind of was doing the orchardy thing, but there's a lot of other stuff too, so it's not just orchard. I'm going to have to go to like four. Let's just do four. Back of that one, I think. Let's see what I can find. Oh, I know what I use. I'm going to use a piece of this graph paper. That was a great find at Goodwill. Go ahead and put glue all over the back of that so that I can um, get that graph paper on there and then I will cut the tag the way I want it. Okay. 
Okay, where does that need that? That would have been bad. A lot of these are double-sided. I was thinking this one was. I'm glad I flipped it over and looked at it. Would have been really boring. Just kind of green paper. Sorry if I get my head in there. And I am going to leave a little bit of a border because I've got this glue everywhere. I'm going to wait until it dries more. See, that drives me crazy when I do that. Sometimes it will just bead off, and other times it just won't. For that, I am going to try a wet bit. Since it's already white, or I mean it's a little off-white, but I don't think it'll be too bad. Yeah, I think it's still kind of just... Even if you do it real light, it kind of rubs away the paper, which bugs me. Alright, I'm going to that over. And... Just try to get rid of air bubbles. Yeah, so it was nice of Samantha to send me more goodies. Totally unnecessary. We talked about the little bee, but she didn't have to send all the extra stuff. That was super nice, but I sent her a little something she should get in a few days. Sometimes I can do that if I have a minute. Really sticky. Right. Okay, so there's our basic tag, and I will be inking, and I'm going to cut those edges just so let me get the glue off my scissors. Okay. Hands. And then I, you guys have seen me do this before. I just use this template thing that I have from a piece of cardboard. Nothing, nothing fancy. Just works great because then you're always the same. I should make sure it fits before I get overzealous. See, there's still bubbles. And I didn't sew the top of pear at all because um, I had to punch the hole, and then once I did, it. Um, Okay, yeah, see that needs to be a little bit thinner on each side to go in and out of there very easily. I just couldn't really stitch it. I mean, I guess I could have gone around the punch out, but I'm not always super great at that. Just stitch around this. What I don't like about glue stick. Let's see if that helped. It's the only thing with those super long tags <laughs> or big tags, back tags. Yeah. yeah, it'll work once it gets broken in a little bit. I have to trim just a little bit off. I don't think it's too long, but let's just trim a little bit off. Get both 
tins. See, I'm glad I didn't ink it yet because I would have had to change all that. Cut straight. It could just be the paper, but. Sorry, we're writing notes back and forth so that she doesn't want to talk on the video. Alright, I'm just going to punch a hole. See, I really don't think that this needs a whole lot of anything else, so I think that's one definite uh, benefit of using collage paper to do these things. I like it for that, for sure. And there's lots of people doing the collage type papers, so... This part wasn't um, super exciting, but I thought it would be fun to show how I made those. Because they're kind of a fun thing to make. You could even do something like this with that um, brown packing paper. You could, you know, fold it in half, glue it together, just like I did the um, pattern instructions, and then fold it the same way and have the pockets and everything if you don't have those sewing pattern instructions. I just was trying to find some way to use those because I use sewing pattern paper for lots of things. I use it for collaging and I use it when I um, wrap up items from my shop before I ship them out and stuff like that. So I was trying to figure out a way I could use the instruction paper, you know, and so that's how that all came about. Because every pattern comes with instructions. Okay, there's those. And then I need something to go in here. I was thinking this might be kind of fun in here, though. I kind of like the numbers. I can still see the B. So maybe I'll do a long tag in there. So that you can see any of these. That won't work. I mean, you could do another B one, but I don't know if that's necessary. Oh, this is kind of cool, that portion. Did I use that? No, I used that on that card. So, yeah, I think I'll use, like, a strip of that. Oh, I did it on the little tag, I think. Yeah, but you can't see that other part, so it was this piece. So I'm trying to think, do I want to do... I'm going to do like three and a half, yeah, maybe two and a half, kind of a long skinny one or something would be fun. And I'm going to stitch around those too, but I don't, like I said before, I can't really stitch on camera, so how long do I want it? going to take off a little bit of the top and some at the bottom. I don't go that much. Let me see, what is this? I guess it is going to take about that. And I'm going to cover that with the graph paper and you could use something else you could use like the old paper 
Um, Digi would work really good if you have it, or, you know, lots of different things. Just coffee stain paper would look good. So if you don't have, like, graph paper or something. Busy all day yesterday. It was a crazy day. Okay, why can't I hold this right? <laughs> so I didn't get anything really done. I mean, last night I did do some stuff, but I didn't get any of that thing else done yesterday. I probably should have. I did get all my orders out this morning, though, for people that are waiting. Thank you guys for being patient. I um, just couldn't get to it yesterday. They went out this morning, so shouldn't have slowed them down too much. All right, let me see. I don't know what I did with my little whole cover thing, so there. Yeah, so I hope you guys will use this in some cool project. I would always love to see pictures. I've had a lot of people saying that they um, were inspired to do an altered book, which I think is awesome because those are fun. I want to do another one, in fact. They're really fun to make, and it's a little bit easier than trying to sew in signatures and all that kind of stuff. And you can get to the fun part faster. Oh, I just realized these numbers are all upside down. Oh, well. on here. Mm. That's kind of pretty. This part, I like that though. So I don't know if I want to put anything on there. It just feels like it kind of needs something. I like these little mushrooms. They're cute. I could do a portion of them. I don't have to do all of them. I don't know if that's too matchy though. Let's see what else I've got. I could do like. Oh, that's too big. I have these blue ones, but they're I think they're too blue. These are Nick the Booksmith. Yeah, no, that's too blue. I could use the. piece of that. Envelopes. Oh, these are too big. That's too little. <laughs> right? Always the way. Those are too little. These are um, Rachel's Roxy Creation. I think they're either too big or too little, just, you know, just that's the sizes that they are. I 
think I'm just going to take a portion of this. I'm just going to go ahead and No, I don't know if I like that either. I really like this size, <laughs> but maybe I want to cut off that part. That's better. Little piece of lace. Just inking it because I, I don't have it coffee dyed, so that works just a little something on there because it's already got you know lots of stuff going on so it doesn't need tons but I do like a little um, texture or whatever you want to call it oops I scooped up some flowers in there Probably need to come up with a better system for that, but so like I said, I will be stitching around these, but just to get an idea around this, and I'll put some stuff through the holes. I don't want to knock it off here. I want to show you guys. So there's that. And then these two. Uh oh, you know what? I stuck that in there and forgot. Okay, it didn't stick. Those two that we did. And the bird. Oh, we didn't do one for that bottom corner. What time have we got? Been almost 40. I just find something to stick in that one. Let's see if any of these doodads will work. That's kind of cool. Mm, I don't know if that's going to work. Yep, that one will work. It's not quite as big as that other one was. So we've got all kinds of little things. If these are too long. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with that one. And I will back it in some let's do coffee dyed. I like these edges like this and they're really they almost look burnt so much coffee soaked into them and it probably is a little bit burnt because I think I did bake these in the oven for a little bit so I'm going to go right up to the edge there because I like that And you don't have to back these because it's just white on the back. You could ink it a little bit or just leave it. It's it's just how you like it. I 
Oh, come on. I want you to stick because it's hard to trim around them when they don't aren't stuck down. Okay, I think that one I messed up and went too close, but I'll make it. Corners are always the problem. And I didn't get enough. This one already looks like I inked it, probably. Alright, and then I'm probably going to stitch like a little piece of fabric there to pull it in and out easier. I'll probably just use like something like this just so that. Um, there's like a little tab, you know, and it doesn't have to be anything big. I just don't want it to get lost in there and nobody knows that it's in there. So I'll just do something like this. So that it goes in and out of that little pocket. So there's our little thing and let me go over the fold one more time. If you don't want to watch the fold, then you can move on. I can find what I did with the, oops, sorry. And the envelopes everywhere. See, so I put everything on top of it. So, All right. So again, you're folding that in half, gluing it together. Fold down this first flap inside. You can do it outside too if you want the little flap here. Then fold this one in, glue it here and here. Close it this way. Glue down here and on the bottom, and you'll have a pocket at the top. These are the two pages, and that's the back. All right, have an awesome day, you guys. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Bye-bye now.